Welcome to your November 2020 love reading. We're going to be doing my favorite spread, which is what is your person thinking and feeling about you? What are they going to do about it? And what will be the outcome of that? And vice versa, what are you thinking about your person of interest or significant other? What are you going to be doing about it? And what will be the outcome of all of your thoughts and actions as a whole? Now, I do want to note that we won't be doing extended readings this month, but I will be doing a bonus where I pull three cards from the lover's oracle and it's only 99 cents so i'll tell you how to find that at the very end and also at the end i'll be pulling a card um, for your finances out of the law of attraction finance deck so let's go ahead and get started hey there taurus we're gonna go ahead and sage and clean the space very quickly please cleanse the space and bring us any messages for taurus about their person of interest or significant other that will be beneficial for them for the rest of November. What is Taurus person thinking and feeling about Taurus at this time? Oh, that one popped out. The tower. So some of you could be going through a divorce or if you're single, your person could be going through a breakup or divorce to prepare their way to you. And for those of you that are in a relationship, there could be some fast, sudden changes coming, um, you know, where it's like this person, um, maybe you two are going through this together. There could have been like a job loss, especially with what's going on recently. So their mind is definitely focused on these big, fast changes that are coming in currently. And for those of you that are, you know, not going through a divorce but are married yeah again you as a whole may be going through this and they're definitely focused on this now these changes could be for good or for bad we'll definitely pull a clarifier for that what is Taurus person going to do about this tower that they're thinking and feeling you know it could be they're worried also since they are thinking and feeling it that that there's going to be a fast change or that you two are going to break up and that's heavily on their mind what is Taurus person of interest or significant other going to do about this the sun in reverse. They're not feeling very hopeful, pos positive, or optimistic about, about this right now because they are so focused on this big change. Now, this big change, again, could be a breakup, a divorce, the ending of something, but it could also be an ending for the both of you. It doesn't necessarily mean that you two are breaking up or anything like that, or it could be they very much fear this, so they're in this kind of negative, heavy space. We're definitely going to pull some clarifiers. And what is Taurus person, like, what is going to be the outcome of how Taurus person is thinking and behaving at this time? The three of pentacles they still want to have a very solid foundation with you so they're either going to you know that's why they're so focused on this and it's bringing them down is because they at the end of the day they are feel like the foundation is solid there is a solid foundation between you two even if you're just interested in each other they could be afraid of losing you and you know they, they are working towards building this foundation with you see they want to solve problems and make this work what is Taurus thinking and feeling about and if you are in a relationship whatever you two are going through as a whole as you know the two of you as a whole they want to, re to fix this they they want to fix this problem for you two and get you to and you know the tower sometimes can be a big positive change too where they're focused on getting you know to a more stable place in life with you and you know just the transition is very difficult and bringing them down but what is Taurus thinking and feeling at this time about their person of interest or significant other five of pentacles yeah a lot of you are going through a pretty rough patch with your person because you are thinking and feeling right now that you are out in the cold left alone from them like uh they're just you feel a little abandoned here taurus um that's how you're feeling and thinking about your person or you feel like they're out in the cold and you can't quite bring them in um maybe because they're so focused on this tower maybe it's something going on you know and i always say maybe because it's general so it's going to hit certain things will hit for some of you i'm reading you know for many different scenarios here but um some of you could be they're going through this tower moment in their own life and you're still there for them um but you see them out on their own and you're trying to you know just be you know you're just here like what can i do for them but for the rest of you you're either going through this together and you definitely feel like you too see there's two of them are out in the cold now this is like a parental figure and a child but you know one more nurturing than the other i think every good relationship has that parental child sort of um not foundation to it um but it's it's um 
you know, you want to be able to nurture each other's inner child. So a lot of good relationships have those dynamics in them. Now, it's not good if that's the soul dynamic because that's a little codependent. But, you know, you're definitely looking out for your person here in a nurturing way or feel that they are for you even during this difficult time. So what is Taurus going to do about how they're feeling and thinking about their person in this scenario at this time? The Emperor in Reverse. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries, but a lot of you, this is about, you know, a job loss or losing your empire and, you know, you don't really know what to do. You're not feeling very in control of anything at this time. Um, and I, again, for a lot of you, I feel like you are in relationships and it's like your own as a unit things aren't going very well but for some of you it could be that you're avoiding an Aries <laughs> um, for others of you it could be that you know you're really um, waiting for your person to come in out from the cold and and be the Emperor for you and so it's just not happening right now so you're feeling kind of left out in the cold and abandoned while they're out dealing with their life and their issues and yeah and for those of you that have been single for a long time so there's going to be some fast changes coming in here, but you may not be ready for them because you've been alone for so long. So you may not see that this person is your person, very solid, steady, reliable, can take care of you and take care of everything and get your life back into balance. And what is going to be the outcome of how Taurus person is thinking and feeling and vice versa, all of that? What is going to be the outcome of this entire scenario? The Knight of Pentacles. So, you know, the good thing is in the outcomes, you two really are there for each other at the end of the day. It's a little bit of a light energy, but definitely a reliable and consistent one. You know, the Knight of Pentacles is a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, a commitment, um, just really, but taking your time, taking it slow, maybe because you're dealing with all these life circumstances. You know, um, you know that you two are going to be there for each other. So you're able to sort of go through these, you know, internal, processes that maybe aren't as comfortable but you know at the end of the day you're going to have this reliable um, connection with your person and for those of you that are single again you just know that you know you don't know maybe but I'm telling you in the outcome you have something very solid and steady coming in here even though you're going through these big changes there to bring in something better right it's like the phoenix rising from the ashes when we see the tower so let's go ahead and pull some clarifiers I do want to give you a heads up that this deck is a little bit graphic but it's very very beautiful so um I did mark the video as 18 and over but for those of you that aren't as comfortable for it with it you can skip ahead and just see your financial card and um i also do want to throw out there that i'll be doing the bonus reading i'll tell you how to get to that it's 99 cents it's a pretty amazing uh deal for november but let's go ahead and see what is going on for this tower why is this tower here for taurus what is why is taurus person of interest or significant other focused on the tower two of pentacles so they are juggling you know finances here they're juggling a lot um they want to be close to you but it's like they're still trying to figure it out they're cooking it up you know they they're kind of admiring you from afar but they've got a lot that they're trying to figure out um you may be quite mysterious to them as well taurus where they don't really know how to approach you see you know this man's sneaking up on her but he's also kind of walking like he's walking on eggshells so um they it's like he he's like should i touch her should i not touch her it's like do i approach taurus at this time you know things are it's kind of crazy you know is taurus going to be receptive to my touch that's how they're feeling give me one more clarifier about this tower situation the emperor the hierophant in reverse this is you taurus so they, I mean, some of you could have been a breakup. They feel like you're not there. They don't know if you want them. They don't know if you're interested. They're trying to figure it out. In this deck, the Hierophant has these two women. Again, it's sort of like the two of pentacles here, trying to balance you out, trying to figure out what to do, how to get close to you, how to connect to you. That's how they're feeling about you. And if you're in a relationship, it's not necessarily that they don't know how to do that, but they're so focused on this tower moment, these big changes, that they're afraid to lose you. They're afraid, you know, to push too hard, things like that. So to find out a little bit more about this now, let's look into the sun about what your person's going to be doing and how they're going to be behaving. Tell me a little more about why the sun is in reverse here when it comes to Taurus person of interest or significant other's behavior. Now, for those of you that um, are single and you're waiting for your person to come in, they are probably most likely going through a breakup at this time. They're trying to um, 
you know they they don't even know you yet that's why you're in reverse and they're you know they're trying to figure out how to get over this person so over the sun in reverse we have the devil so a lot of you could be dealing with a capricorn but this is also telling me you know there is some toxic energy here they may have some bad habits and it may not be you know that they're a drug addict or anything like that although it may be for some of you it could just be that they have patterns from childhood again you know nurturing that inner child where they don't know how to have a healthy relationship necessarily but they really want to they don't want you to be with anyone else as you can see depicted in this card here so um if you are dealing with a capricorn Capricorn as well they could be in a little bit of a negative place but this is also telling me that this three of pentacles outcome you know is going to be coming around Capricorn season so around the 21st of December things are going to start feeling a little more solid again even though they're in this very chaotic sort of negative place and it could be that they're in it in themselves like I've said and that obviously is going to affect the relationship some um even though I do feel like you're still gonna be there for them. Or it could be that they're in this negative place about relationships in general, and they have to get their foundation back before they can come to you, Taurus, if this is your person coming in. And for others of you that are in a relationship, they really have some work to do on themselves, but they're, I mean, it's like the universe is forcing them to do that work. And they're still going to be acting a little bit, you know, cantankerous or kind of, you know, having an attitude but they're gonna get back to basics let's go ahead and pull one for this three of pentacles since it's a little bit different than what we see going on here how is taurus person going to get to this three pentacle state when they're operating in this way the chariot in reverse so for some of you a person is very resistant to change they don't like change at all they don't want change and the universe again is forcing them to change so with the cancer card which is the chariot which is forward progress and movement they don't want to move forward here they want to stay they want things to stay the way that they are and they'll do anything um actually i lied this isn't the devil so we're i mean we're not necessarily dealing with capricorn this is the tower again taurus i'm so sorry this deck's a little bit different um you have the tower twice a lot of you are going through a divorce or a breakup and that's you know this is a general reading now if you're in a relationship and you're perfectly happy are you going through it no i'm not saying that's happening for you don't worry what i'm saying is that you two as a unit are having some major changes and again they don't always have to be negative again for some of you that have been in something and it wasn't really the way you wanted it these big changes are going to bring you you know back to going okay I, this is a solid reliable person that is in my life regardless of the bs but i would like some forward progress they don't want to give it to you and that's why they're you know they're kind of spinning their wheels here that might be the title of the reading Let's go ahead and give me a clarifier for the five of pentacles the five of wands so there's some jealousy here going on um you may be alone and you know here it looks like an affair but it's more like um voyeurism so you're alone but your person is definitely you know this is how you're thinking and feeling so you're definitely keeping an eye on your person and you have a little bit of a, this fear of them being with somebody else and you know you're feeling a little abandoned and alone if you are in a relationship you have this fear of losing them um you want to take care of them and it's almost like if you're in this relationship i don't think there's necessarily an affair going on although there could be for one or two of you there's sort of a battle of wills and you are sort of like observing this out of body you know how you can have an out of body experience for yourself it's like you're viewing this relationship right now um outside of it so even if you're in it you're living together you're there every day you're definitely taking a step back and observing this relationship and you're kind of feeling alone in doing that so Give me a clarifier about the emperor here and why Taurus is behaving like they don't want to, they don't know how to or what's going on. The nine of swords, yeah. It's like the lack of progress, the lack of success, you feel like you two should have been more established by now. And so you are, it's keeping you up at night, you know, you're really thinking about your person and, and you don't know how to make this work, it seems like Taurus. And if you're in the relationship and there is a foundation, you two are just really going through something right now is what I'm feeling this month. And again, it could be just individually you're going through it, but yeah, it's having some effect on the relationship, although I don't think it's going to uproot it. If anything, it's going to bring transformation, which is what the tower is all about and help you two to move forward more stable and steady. Give me one more clarifier for this. 
queen of pentacles so that's you taurus whether you're male or female if you're a male it just means you're operating more in a strategic energy um, to provide that foundation that stability and that's what you're going to be doing so you're definitely trying to provide a solid steady foundation here um and also you you really love to be with your person so any sort of separation that's going on is really eating you up taurus and let's see what the knight of pentacles what's going on here the eight of swords so here you know again see we've got she's with him but there's like this um mischievous like damien like character that's you know entrapping her mind which is you know it's like keeping you two from being as close as you could be so you're steady and you're solid and you're you're making very 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 slow progress here definitely not fast progress um but it's just like there's some old things lingering around that need to be dealt with or or you can't be as close as you want to be um the separation could take hold for some of you but again if you are in a relationship, I don't feel like that's happening. And if you are single, I feel like what's happening if you're in a relationship is just you two working through these inner child issues, becoming better people. And, and you're able to do this and not have it in the relationship. You're able to go through these personal transformations and still be together. But for those of you that are single, you're going through all of this. You're alone. You know, you're thinking about your person. You're, you're solid in yourself, but you don't quite feel like your person is available or ready yet. But they are going through some things, the big changes that are going to bring them in and they're going you know when they come in there's going to be this commitment so it's pretty nice so just make sure that you're not holding on to any you know things from the past other people that could interfere with you trusting this and make sure you're not thinking too much about their past if you've just met them and say they just broke up with someone after 10 years and you're like oh you're not ready for a relationship yet uh, you never know you can meet someone after you broke up with a karmic yesterday or you can meet someone after you've been single for 10 years so don't hold their past against them as long as they are showing a genuine effort here that you know they're done with that and they're not going to stay involved yeah i'd heed a little caution you know give it a little time to make sure that they're completely detached and you can only do that through observation but don't assume that they're still attached all right so I hope this helped bring some clarity for many of you. And if it didn't resonate, you know, it's it's for general reading. You can always get a personal one with me if you click on the link below to go to the bonus. Um, and if you're on IGTV, it'll be the link in the bio. You'll go to my um, product catalog at the top this is the personal readings. Scroll to the bottom, you'll see November 2020 Taurus bonus reading. They're 99 cents this month. We'll just do a quick draw from the Lover's Oracle. Uh, groups a b and c to see you know what the message is for you from there but i want to go ahead and pull a financial card from you from the law of attraction deck and you know i say financial because this deck leans more financially but it, it's it's kind of it's a more general card i can see my world through the eyes of source by choosing better feeling thoughts and by speaking more of what you do want and less of what you do not want, you will gently tune yourself to the vibrational frequency of your broader perspective. To see your world through the eyes of source is to truly the most spectacular view of life. For from that vibrational vantage point, you are in alignment with and therefore in the process of attracting only what you would consider to be the very best of your world. So, you know, um, in regards to your person, just try to stay very positive. I know that sometimes can sound cliche if you're really going through a rough patch. And if you're like married and you know, you're going through job changes and things like that, just, um, just think of, you know, well, this is the opportunity for me to find a better paying job or a job that I really want or something of that nature. So I hope this helped, Taurus. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings, and light. Hope to see you in the bonus.